Sudan University for uh, Science and Technology. And the last talk given by Dr. Dr. Andrew Lang and the other speakers actually highlighted the potentiality of Sudan in the biomass. Uh, as well, all the participants uh, raised a very important point that a collaborative body should be established. And as director of this university, I declare to, the, to you that uh, this body uh, will be establishing our university and will be located in universities of science and technology. Uh, all the participants realize also all the universities and institutions of research, they work as isolated islands. Nobody knows about the, the research activities of others. So we, are, so we, we need that body actually to collaborate between these activities through our institutions of research just to tune up uh, this matter. Uh, actually, uh, coming back to the biomass, let us let it be a relate. Let us first make a suitable model, a practical suitable model for that energy here in Sudan. And let us invite the people to be acquainted uh, to that model. Let us design it in a good way, especially for our women, because they are facing that uh, energy resource first. Uh, so here I will call our designers to design a suitable model, a practical model uh, for its shape, uh, for its shape and size, because the women have to be acquainted to that model. Uh, and it should be elegant, that model we should look to be an uh, elegant model and the overall look to be accepted by our women. Uh, as well, let us give some solutions to the methods of animal waste collections. And let us put or introduce new methods for storage system for that animal waste. Uh, let us stop cutting trees without replacing because it is a bad habit in Sudan that we cut trees without replacing new plants for the trees. Uh, let us use the cotton trees stems and usher plants to be as inputs to this new energy. Let it be a, a source for that energy. As Sudan is unfortunate, we have a problem of our priorities. Let us admit that we don't know how to arrange our priorities in order. Is it a priority to scrap oil or is it our priority to look for agriculture or for livestock or to introduce a new energy to our people? And which energy should be introduced to our people? Is it solar energy? Is it windmills? Or is it the biomass? Actually, uh, and who is going to decide to arrange these priorities for us? The decision makers, our decision makers, actually when they start with a problem, unfortunately they go to the parliament, they go to the minister's council asking for consultation. They should go first to universities, to institutions of research. As an example, say, in America, Obama, when, when he stuck with the crisis, economical crisis, he went first to Harvard University. And the Japanese, when they are stuck, when they are hit by tsunami, they go to Kyoto University asking for some solutions, some consultations. Let us first convince our decision makers, let us convince our government when they stuck at the problem, let us go first to universities, let us let them go first to institutions of research, let them consult 
these departments because this is will be the rightest act they can do and this will be the rightest they will have the rightest solutions they can get. Uh, hopefully uh, this conference will end to a very good output and let us go forward for it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.